Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Crypto Editor UK. My name is Michael and as always we're bringing you the very latest in price, hype and speculation in the wonderful world of crypto assets. Now in today's episode we will cover price chart patterns, support and resistance levels and bearish and bullish signs in the market. Now if you like this type of content please remember to like, share and subscribe the channel and without any further ado, let's jump straight in right after this. All right then, so let's take a look at the current Bitcoin price. Uh, so I'm using a tool here called UK Trading View, and as the date of current recording, um, which is the 13th of April, the price is 6,744 US dollars approximately. That will be going up and down. So what we'll be looking to do here is to see what sort of patterns um, are present in the price chart. So if you're looking at this chart here, there are many patterns that can be drawn from the price action. So we're looking here, I'm looking at the very, the low of this uh, last month in March. Um, there was a very a low that took us down almost to $4,000. Um, since then, the price has recovered. And we are today, um, as recording, trading at the 6,700 region. Um, so what we're going to be looking at essentially is what are the patterns and whether they are what you call bullish or bearish. Now, People say, what is bullish and bearish? So just in short, without going too much into it, um, a bearish pattern is um, what is something that's, you know, is scarce and it's, it's, it's lacking. So therefore, that would indicate that the price is falling down. And a bullish pattern is, as you would call a bull, um, it, it is a consistent, strong um indication which would indicate that the price is going up so they're the two things that you'd be looking for you're looking for a pattern and whether that pattern represents a bullish sign or a bearish sign so um, let's carry on so with the chart patterns they fall broadly into three uh, categories of pattern um, that would be number one being the continuation pattern so that's just basically saying that the same trend will just continue so the continuation is just the same trend will continue um, the second pattern will be a reversal and that would indicate that a trend may be about to change direction so say for example if the trend was um in a was, a, was of a bullish nature all of a sudden that would then reverse to be a bearish nature and vice versa and finally the third pattern would be a bilateral pattern which would mean that the price could move either way um so Bilateral patterns usually present themselves in uh, the crypto asset space because the crypto asset space is very volatile. So the price does go up and down. So just moving on, before we look at the different patterns uh, and the different names of the patterns, what we need to understand is there are two levels um, that need to be looked at here. So there are there's levels of support and there's levels of resistance. OK, so let me just go through um, and explain support and existence here. So very quickly, these two lines here, if you can see on the screen, um, the top line is the line of resistance and the bottom line is the line of support. OK, so the support level refers to the level at which an asset price stops falling and bounces back up. So you can see here the support line, the asset the asset line just bounces. You can see here the price bounces off the support. So that's the support line. And the resistance line, this is where the price usually stops rising and dips back down. So you can see here on the top, the top line is resistance. So each time it meets the resistance, you can see that it can't break through that resistance. So therefore it falls back down and it's staying within this region of resistance and support. Um, so so resistance and support can usually be identified by looking at the three things to look at to identify the levels of resistance or levels of support will be historical uh, price data. So you'd look at the historic price levels, uh, the previous support and resistance levels, and also technical indicators. Um, so they're the three ways that you can identify support and resistance. So 
Now, moving on from the support and resistance, now let's look at the different patterns and I'll explain them in as much detail as possible. It was a classical head and shoulders pattern, okay? So this is formed when there is a large peak, okay, formed here, which is the head, and on either side of the large peak, there are two smaller peaks on each side, which would indicate the shoulders, okay? So here is what you call the neckline. You've got the, the head there, and on either side, the two smaller peaks of the shoulders. So this, is, this usually indicates or signals a bearish downtrend. So once you've had the shoulder, then you've had the head, and you've had the shoulder, the price will usually break down past the neckline, and this would indicate a bearish outlook in the price. Okay, So that's the first one, head and shoulders. The second one we'll be looking at here is the inverse head and shoulders. So... Um, the inverse head and shoulders is exactly the same thing, but what you're going to do is it's like a mirror image. So I'll, I'll stick with this one and I'll explain it based on this pattern here. So same thing, but say for example, it was on the bottom here. So you had the shoulder came here and then the head was formed here and then another shoulder was formed there. That would be an in inverse head and shoulders. But what would happen with that is the price would seek to break the neckline and then we would have what you call a bullish indication and the price would seek to go upwards, okay? So that's exactly the same as heads and shoulders, it's just an inverse and it's the other way around. The next pattern we'll be looking at here is the double top. So um, the double top, as you can see here, is um, this is where the price will, uh, the, double top, the price will experience a peak retract to a level of support. So here you can see it see, receives a peak, it tra retracts to a level of support, and then it will retest the peak before falling back into a bearish scenario. So once it falls back into the bearish scenario, what will usually happen is it breaks the, the neckline and the levels of support, and it indicates there a bearish outlook on the price. So if you see this kind of pattern forming, you would understand that, okay, at this at this price it, it indicates it's bearish so it may well be best to maybe sell off once you've reached this this position here because once you've got that that double top and any signs that is it's, it's dropping any further would indicate a double top and at that point you would look to sell because the classical rule of um any trading so whether it's uh, crypto assets stock markets fiat currency trading forex is you buy low and you sell high so you, you you really want to be buying around this region here when the price is lower and then you're selling at the top when you've made some profits here so that's a double top the next one we'll be looking at is a double bottom so in the double bottom this is where the price uh, will fall below the neckline. So you've got the neckline here and the price falls below the neckline and it falls below the neckline and levels of support and then it will, it will rise again to the levels of resistance this time. So this time it falls below the levels of support, which was here, the neckline. It comes down here, it comes back up here, then it hits resistance. It comes back down again to another bottom and then it rises back up through that resistance level and this time this will be indicating a bullish outlook so at this point it may well worth be looking at um, i suppose looking to buy in this region here because you understand that okay the, the 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 pattern indicates that this is a double bottom it's come down through this the the levels of support it's reached a low here it's come back up to um, to to test this resistance it has been re rejected at this level of resistance it's come back down and then at this point you'd think okay that looks as though that could be a double bottom it signals a double bottom so you'd look to buy at this price and then you'd know that you know the price will be looking to go through that resistance and will be very bullish in, in the long run so that's a, a double bottom there wedges which is um here so we have wed wedges so with wedges there are two types of wedges okay so the first being a rising wedge, okay? A rising wedge, which is indicative here, as you can see, the, 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 the resistance line and the support line are slightly slanted. So it would indicate a price that is ascending, ascending in price, as you can see here, it's ascending in price um, in this channel of resistance and support. Um, but as it goes up to the top here, it would, at some point break that support and that would indicate that it's um, a bearish outlook on the price so that's a rising wedge okay 
and then you have as opposed to a rising wedge the falling wedge okay so with the falling wedge this is a an example here again the two lines to two levels here of resistance and support so with the falling wedge what would happen is uh, it's a steady decrease in price as you can see here the price is steadily decreasing and then all of a sudden it eventually will break out to the upside okay so if you're studying the the, the, the chart there you'd be seeing the price is steadily decreasing and then all of a sudden here at some point in that wedge it breaks out of that, it breaks out of that wedge and there are gains to be made okay so again with this one it would always be wise to be looking to buy at these levels here and then take profits once it's uh, once it's broken that resistance line here and in that falling wedge okay um, the next pattern we'll look at is pennant um, or flags so essentially a pennant or flag this signals a period of upward movement as you can see here followed by a consolidation so the consolidation would mean that you know the price is just going sideways and it's moving sideways um, there are significant increases in the initial stages of a, a bull pennant or a, a, a pennant flag is significant increases so here you can see the price goes up significantly but then afterwards the price will just be consolidated so it will just be going up and down and it, it really doesn't make any move to the downside or to the upside but it just continues um, in, in that in that in that pattern so it's a it's just a, a consolidation uh, period um, and then lastly but not least, we'll be looking at the two uh, triangles. So the two popular tri triangle patterns here are firstly the ascending triangle. So the ascending triangle, triangle, this is a bullish continuation of an uptrend in price. OK, so what you're looking to do here, you're, you're looking to get the two lines, one, the lines of resistance here and line of support here. Essentially, it makes a triangle. I mean, this is not a perfect example of how the triangle should look so say for example we drew it more like that but you can see essentially the resistance is getting here at the top the support will be rising so the lows are the lows in price are getting higher and then what would happen it would it would usually indicate an ascending triangle that the price is going to break through that resistance and it's a bullish indicator okay and finally the last one the last pattern we usually have here is a descending triangle so with a descending triangle this is the opposite of an ascending triangle obviously um, this indicates a bearish continuation in price so again you'd be drawing the two the two lines this is the resistance um, and this is support level support level would stay consistent and what would happen is you'd get um, lower highs so you can see that the price is um it, there are highs being achieved but it's lower in price so this triangle would indicate that it would break below that support that support line and this indicates a bearish outlook in the price so that's essentially um the most of this video and what i wanted to show you is um something that's very useful for for everyone to look for out there this is just again it's just a summary of everything that i've indicated in this video so all the patterns discussed so you've got your double top here your double bottom heads and shoulders inverse head and shoulders rising wedge um and what you've got here is it tells you when these patterns form so if this pattern if for example we'll look at the top uh the double top if this forms during an uptrend the type of signal would be a reversal and the next move would be a downwards move so this chart's very useful here in reading charts so um i'll leave the link to um this website at the bottom of the video so you guys can have this at your disposal it's a very good resource this because essentially what you what will happen is you'll start being able to read the the charts and you'll be able to predict where the price is going to go based on what's been happening before and what we've discussed in this video so again um i hope you found this content useful and um, thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and um make sure to watch our other videos and um, until next until next time we'll check you soon